Do you feel like an animal, Jason? <laughs> Like me. But we have to finish the movie. Who gives a fuck about movies? Fortunately, you're not. What do you mean? What's going on? I'm afraid I need you to come down to the station. You got a problem here, guy? This was found next to the body at the apartment crime scene. DNA says that it belonged to someone named Richie Kirsch. Does that ring a bell? It was kind of more... Uh, gotta ask. Do you have alibis for earlier tonight? Mason, you can call to check if you want. And then I met Tara. Was that before or after this happened? <laughs> That'd be a crazy coincidence, right? The detective who had the case, he offered it to me because it involves Quinn. Um, but I can totally give it back if you're uncomfortable. It's up to you. It's fine. So if the man who attacked you did steal your license and plant it next to the body, it'd probably be somebody close to you. I think I can vouch for Quinn. Either of you have anyone that might want to target you. Not anyone he's still alive. Yikes. He's here. Claiming jurisdiction. Where are they? Can I help you? Mm. You lost. Why? Look, I'm not trying to get into... The bodega. DNA traces of two individuals. Charlie Walker, Jill Roberts, both deceased. So he's leaving them on purpose. Sorry, that's not possible. You're both persons of interest in a double homicide, so you're... The carpenter's alibi? The therapist? Was, how messed up is that? Threatening remarks? Ended up dead. And guess which patient's notes were stolen? Another mask was found at the scene. It's a DNA match for Roman Bridger. So we've had nine Ghostface killers so far. Nine? But I thought in the movies... Forget about the movies. The movies don't matter. I mean, look, last year at that same night, his mask was found at the shrinks. Which just leaves Mickey Altieri, Nancy Loomis. Our chief suspect. Yeah, well, whoever's doing this is leading us back to Sam. I will check in later. And tell your daughter to stay sharp. Proximity to the carpenters is proximity to Ghostface. Hey, Jack. You call the Atlanta field office. Pick up what you can on Agent Reed. Thank you. Both my kids are gone. My whole family is gone. You fuck with my family. You die. Show me. Ladies. So much. Choking on your own blood. Friend Danny works on the Upper West Side. He can get there quicker. Yeah, or he can finish her off. It's possible. He's the killer. Fuck. We have to get there now. It's blocks away. We don't even know if it's true. Sam, wait. Take a minute. We don't have a minute. Sam, you have to trust me. We've got to make the right call. He's already. Sam! What's she doing? Hey. Hey, get out of my car. Leave 
think you're doing? That's an official vehicle. Hey! Should we use the sirens? Did you really think we were going to steal a police car and not use the sirens? You even have a license? Fuck yeah. What are you doing? It's a cop car. You can't steal a cop car. I'm getting my ass chewed out for not dropping the case, and now you want me to do what? And then what? Let's kill the son of a bitch. He's got heavy surveillance and security cameras, but we can use that against him. Travel in public. More people around you. Get everyone out of there, Sam. You're not safe. They fired Kirby two months ago for being mentally unstable. What? She's no longer with the FBI. Who is it him? Find him! <gasps> Great job. Both of you. You? Yeah, of course, me. Frankly, I expected more from the two of you after what you did to us. What do you mean, us? Wait for it. My name's not Ethan Landry. Is it, Dad? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. In it. Though, so, it was a good way to get off the suspect list. Stab Gale Weather. Yep, and I just made sure I was first on the scene so I could switch your body out with a fresh one. You'd be amazed at what a grieving father can get away with. Number three? That's two. Your sleeves? Your father's. This is what we've been counting down to, Sam. I'm gonna need you to put it on. You know that. Of course you didn't. What do you think this is based on? Some bullshit conspiracy theory? Come on. Who do you think started the rumors about you in the first place? So when dad here. You're a killer. Yeah. Then I knew you had to fucking die. You had to be punished. You stand in our way. No. Have I made these little movies? Yeah. Maybe. For me, they're just a little dark. He even made a few of his own. Did you know? Did you know? Forget about the black. So you guys are thinking that I didn't close the holiday sky? There's a very special bond between a father and his first son. Which is why I helped him build this collection. Yes, he's a very passionate collector. And he inspired others. Ah, oh, we had to kill those two wannabe film students because, well, we had to kill you first, Sam. Detective Bailey would have just stumbled on it, but I didn't have to because, by golly, that Gale Weathers is one hell of a journey. I built a tribute to my son. Which is why this is where you have to die, Sam. Ow! We gotta hurry over to the hospital and make sure Mindy and Gail don't pull through. Because everybody dies, Sam! Everyone who had anything to do with the death of my son suffers and dies. <laughs> he was a strong, virile young... <laughs> Hello, Detective Bailey. I've got one question for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> favorite scary movie? I'm asking because you're in one now. You're in my movie. I see you've put on your true face, huh? Your birthright. Poetic that you're gonna die in it. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Now you know the truth, huh? Murder's in your blood! Stop fucking around and show yourself! Be careful what you wish for. I'm a fucking police officer. How do you think this is gonna go, Sam? Who do you think they're gonna believe? Ah! Probably the one who's still alive. 